Hi, today I want to show you how we configure Squid, Cashpeer, and FreePBX on PFSense package. So, first of all, you have to make sure that you installed Squid package from services and Squid proxy server, and you have to use this directive for Squid. As you see, we need two lines. The first line is uh, never direct allow all. The second line will be choosing the proxy IP in the port. So this will be my pro my parent proxy, and this is the port that will be used. So all of what I need is just copy and put them right here, then save. In this case my proxy will be directing all of the traffic all of my HTTP traffic will be directed to that proxy in that port you have to put in consideration that on that proxy side right you have to be whiting list the interfaces of the proxy that we have so if I go to my server I will be using that IP address this is my outgoing interface uh, for the internet and it will be my outgoing interface that will be reaching um, the parent which is 10 12 0 32 right once you do that all of that traffic will be directed to that proxy so let's verify that's working uh, I will go SSH right then I will check my logs right, this is a sample of the logs on my server as we see this is uh, a TCP mess request as you see it was directed to my proxy right So that's in a nutshell. Somebody may ask and say, why didn't you configure the remote cache option right here? Uh, the, quest, the answer is I I tried many times to to do it from the GUI, but unfortunately it did not work because I think this SQLite version need that directive option. Also, it may need that directive line exactly. So I think it will be hard to use that from the GUI. I don't know where the problem, but just to make it easy, I can do it easily from this uh, panel. Uh, in the end, I hope this video has been informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing. Uh, if you like my video, you can go to my YouTube channel, like, subscribe, and give me a good feedback. Thank you so much. See you next time in another video.